Okay, in this video, I will show you how terminology recognition in inflected languages works in uh, Omega T and how the new autocompleter feature for terminology works in the latest version of Omega T 3.0.1. So first, let's have a look at the project creation dialog box in older versions of uh, Omega T. So for languages, we have two drop-down menus for the source and target language. So here I have Finnish selected as source language and British English selected as target language. Now with the latest version of Omega T 3.0, the dialog box is slightly different. So for languages, we have not only the source and target languages, but we also have tokenizers. So for my source language, I have the Finnish tokenizer selected and for the target language, the English tokenizer. Tokenizers are not a new feature in Omega T, so they existed uh, already in older versions. But in previous versions, they were not included in standard, so you had to download them separately and you had to install them uh, using the command line. So it was not a very user-friendly process and this is why many people were not using them. Starting with the new version 3.0, Tokenizers are included in standard and they are also selected by default when you create a new project. So it's a very user friendly process. Now, what is the role of a tokenizer? Basically, tokenizers are doing two things. For the source language, they are used for terminology recognition purposes and they are especially useful with heavily inflected languages. So languages in which the same word can take many different forms and Finnish is a very good example of such a language. And for the target language, uh, they will be used for quality assurance purposes. So to check that uh, a given source term is translated correctly in the target segment, even though it is not found in the exact form present in the glossary. So let's switch to a sample Finnish English project and uh, let's have a look at how terminology recognition with the tokenizer works in Omega T 3.0. So here I'll switch to segment number five. I'll quickly translate it and I will be adding three term pairs from this segment. So the first term I'm interested in is here the word Volokiven, so I'll highlight it. And to add terminology to a glossary in Omega T, you use the edit menu and create glossary entry or control shift G. You will then have a, a glossary entry form and I can highlight the corresponding target term. So here it's soapstone and I can press control shift G and the term will be added to the form. Now, the base form of uh, my source term is not Volokiven, this is the genitive. The base form is Volokivi, which is the nominative. I can press OK to enter it and I'm in luck. The term pair shows up in the glossary pane. So I have uh, Volokivi equals uh, soapstone. And uh, uh, this means that Omega T was able to recognize this term, although it does not appear in the exact uh, same form in the source segment. And this is thanks to the tokenizer. Now let's add a second term that will be Varavien. I will press Ctrl Shift G and the corresponding term in English is heat retaining. So I'll highlight it and I'll press Ctrl Shift G. And again, the base form in Finnish is not Varavien, it's Varava, which is the nominative form and Varavien was a genitive plural. Now I press OK. And again, I'm lucky, uh, the term was uh, recognized. Now I'll add a third term and that will be Varavien Tulisiyoyen. I'll press Ctrl Shift G 
And in English, the corresponding term is heat retaining fireplaces. So I'll highlight that and control shift G and uh, I'll put it in the singular form. So I'll delete the S in the English uh, term. And in Finnish, it's not to the yen, it's to the ya. So again, there, there's a morphological change. And as we saw previously, it's not varavien, it's varava like this and I'll press OK. Again, I'm lucky, so Varava Tulisia was recognized, although it appears in a different form, Varavien Tulisiyen. So, so far so good, uh, the tokenizer works just as advertised, and uh, we have no problems. Now, I'll move back to the first segment, I'll quickly translate it, and I will add a new term pair and the source term that I'm interested in is Hallituxane. So I'll select it, Control Shift G. And the corresponding term in English is Board of Directors. So I'll press Control Shift G. And uh, the base form for the source uh, uh, term in Finnish is not Hallituxane, it's Hallitus, like this. And I'll press OK. And now nothing happens, so the glossary pane remains empty, which means that uh, Omega T was not able to recognize the term Halitus. So this means that uh, Omega T, or rather the Finnish tokenizer, was not able to identify the source term that we just entered in the glossary, Halitus, as being present in the source segment. So the Finnish tokenizer is not perfect. It works in some cases, even cases that uh, seems to be rather tricky from a morphological point of view. But in other cases, as we saw here with Halitus, it does not work. Now let's move back to our segment number five, uh, which is empty. And we have uh, three terms that belong to the source segment. And uh, first, let's have a look at uh, the way that we could uh, enter these uh, terms in the target segment in previous versions of uh, Omega T. So for instance, if I wanted to enter the term soapstone, uh, in previous versions, I would have to highlight the target term soapstone in the glossary pane and to right click it with my mouse like this and then it will be entered in the source segment. So you had to move to the glossary pane and you had to use your mouse uh, right clicking. So not very convenient. With the latest version of Omega T 3.0.1, you have a new autocompleter feature and it works with control space. So if I'm in the segment, in the target segment and I press control space, I will have a small pop-up menu in which all the terminology recognized in that segment is present and I can select the term I'm interested in, for instance soapstone, and I can copy it with the keyboard and without leaving the editor pane. So that's uh, one way to use it. Another way to use it, for instance, if now I wanted to enter either heat retaining or heat retaining fireplace, uh, what I can do, I can start uh, typing the term H E and now I can press uh, control space and what will happen is this Omega T will include only the target terms that match the letters that I just entered so I will not have soapstone I will only have heat retaining and heat retaining fireplace so I can enter heat retaining fireplace like this and put it in plural if I want. So this is a very convenient way to enter terminology compared to previous versions of uh, Omega T. So there you have it, how terminology recognition of uh, inflected languages works with tokenizers in uh, Omega T and how you can quickly enter terminology with the new autocompleter feature of Omega T 3.0.1. Thank you for watching. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more similar content aimed at translators and see you in the next video.